Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review and comparison of the new Harbor Freight Hercules expensive three-piece wood auger bit set. They also have three of these in long lengths, and then they have a three-piece set, which is the smaller sizes, quarter-inch, three-eighths, and then half-inch. This happens to be the half, three-quarters, and one-inch. I'm going to say right at the beginning here that you're going to be better off with the Bauer. Let's go ahead and, because the Bauer is 20 bucks for a six-piece set, and it has, uh, they're pretty nice. We have this bulletproof packaging as usual. And this cutter is available, or ones that are similar to it if you hunt around on Amazon. It just makes it so much easier to get into this type of packaging here. There's our bits. Let's pull them out. We do have the nice, it's strange, but on the website, the smaller three piece set of the Hercules are just a carbon black finish, where these have a blue paint. Let's take a look at these three uh, bits here, and then we'll compare to the other bits. So the uh, a couple of the differences here is these are heavier duty. They have a 7 16 shank, so you can only use these with a half-inch drill. I don't think they should have painted the shanks because that paint's just going to end up getting in your drill truck. Uh, besides that, the grind seems to be pretty good. I can pull along the fluting here, and it's hollow ground, which I don't know if we can quite see because it's pretty slight, but it means that the wall actually curves back outwards a little bit so it provides a little relief angle and so that uh, should provide a better hole finish. They advertise as having two cutting teeth so they're kind of a like a twist drill with a self-feed tip on it. It's the easiest way to describe these. They do have a little bit of a relief. They do have a pretty heavy duty or a pretty strong looking uh, tip right there and they're advertised to be nail eating or nail cutting. Let's put these down and then compare to some of the competition, including their own Bauer here. We have a DeWalt nail eater, which is a traditional one, and of course the Irwin speed bore. The DeWalt is not a center rod, and actually this Hercules wouldn't be technically a center rod, but since the flutes are shallow enough, there's actually a solid piece of metal all the way through. Or for instance, on the DeWalt, if you draw a straight line, it actually won't go through through where there isn't a continuous piece of metal. Where we can see on the Bauer, they do have a center rod. Erwin, actually, who is who invented the center rod auger bit, and the center rod designs just to provide just a little bit more rigidity. Now, some of the issues I'm going to point out, like with the speed bores, the speed bore, the steep helix angle, really just doesn't clear chips very well. And that's going to be the issue I see with this Hercules, is that steep helix angle just isn't going to actually auger and like an Archimedes screw, get those chips out of there, at least as effectively. And it also seems that this bit's gonna, you're going to want to run much faster than you would normally run auger bits. Auger bits tend to be run slower. These are all one-inch bits. And, of course, when you talk about grain augers or augers that are in bark or mulch blower trucks or any of that type of stuff, Archimedes screws, they have a pretty steep helix angle like this. They are not, these are more twist drill style. To help uh, speed up cutting, but they just don't like to clear out chips. And that's one of the things with the Hercules is it seems that it's a very physically a strong bit and won't bend on you. But unfortunately, and we actually can see a pretty nasty burr right there on the edge of that, uh, is that there just isn't a whole lot of space, such as with the Bauer or even the DeWalt. There's just tons of space for the wood chips. And then, of course, if we take, we'll concentrate them, we can look at the tips here. Even though the Bauer is... Just a single tooth, it's still pretty strong, but you can see that it just doesn't have as much cross section as the Hercules does, so that's one of the reasons the Herc is rated for nail eating. Just the Walt is only a single tooth, but you can see it has just a really heavy duty chisel design with a side cutter that kind of helps reinforce it. And then of course the Irwin speed bore, which is kind of like a combination between a spade bit and a self-feeding wood auger, also known as ship augers. I like this fly cutter on the other side of the bower, and that tends to just provide a nice little shaving action on the other side of the hole and can help improve the finish. And that's something that DeWalt doesn't have because this, this thin section right here will just get totally dull the first time it hits a nail. This bit, the bower will probably cut through a nail, but it's going to damage that edge quite a bit and it's probably going to damage this edge as well. One thing I'm also noticing is on the screw thread tips. Uh, it seems about average on the speed board. The DeWalt is actually has a real, if we could get this to 
Uh, this doesn't have quite as an aggressive a threat as we can see on the Bauer. It's very deep, but on the Hercules, it's an extremely deep thread that really should get a lot of traction. We can also see that they're just straight taper on all of these. The Hercules is a beehive, so there's actually a, uh, a curve, and then it gets real full size before you get to the base. Elliptical curve. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some drilling tests. I'm going to try doing some tests uh, at two different speeds just to compare uh, finish. After basically saying, you know, the Hercules, Hercules are nice, but they're just too expensive. I mean, 20 bucks on the uh, Bowers, and you get a 3 8 shank, which is will work in most people's drills. And that the fact that they're just uh, a fine auger bit, you're going to be much better off. 20 bucks for 6 bits, or you're going to be spending 30 bucks on 3 bits. And I should also note that auger bits, because they have this long straight shank, the deal with them is that they're made to dry, drill deep holes, and that they're made to be pretty well on size, and that they're straight, because you have this whole shank of the bit helping keep the bit running straight and true as you're going through a heavy piece of material. Unlike things like spade bits, which as soon as you get beyond the side of the flute, they can start wandering in the hole. And of course, auger bits are just generally designed to drill far more holes before wearing out than a spade bit. Okay, so I'm going to drill four holes with the four bits. I'll mark them. And just to see the difference in speeds, an auger bit that's a one inch, you would want to run around 1,000 RPM. Even though you can run wood bits really fast, wood is thermally insulating and it actually has a lot of minerals in it, which are abrasive. That's why even carbide wears out in something that seems so much softer like wood is because... Uh, of the abrasive content but then the heat really can especially in successive holes you'll get the end of the bit hot enough for it to lose its hardness so uh, but for the point of this we're going to be running at two set four holes at 2000 rpm four holes at you know 450 or 500 rpm and we'll go ahead and start off with the hercules here we'll make sure hopefully my drill will drive this i'm sure it will oh Spoke too soon. That was. Let's try that again. It just won't do it. This is a DCD996, but in a 5 amp battery, but that's asking a lot. Trying to spin an auger bit at 2000 RPM with a cordless drill. So we're going to do this at 1300 RPM. We'll even try to get some more light. There we go. All right. And now the Bauer. Make enough spacing so it doesn't chew up the hole next to it. Here's our uh, DeWalt nail eater bit. And now for the Irwin speed bore. That speed bore is fast. Okay, we'll be using the Milwaukee 2504 second Dren uh, M12 fuel for the 4 and 50 RPM test. And yes, I'll get around to reviewing this. I've been getting a feel for it. I can already tell you that there's an error with the grind on the tip of the bow of the Hercules. And so they'll need to get that uh, worked on. I'll show in just a second here. But here we are with the 4 and 50 RPM tests. This little drill is kind of hard to hold on to. Yeah. It's struggling because of the bit. I can also tell you in first gear, this is about as powerful as you ever want to get on a little 12 volt drill. That actually has a real amount of torque. It's surprising. But watch, it'll have no problem. It's, there's a big problem with the grind on that Hercules. This Bauer will have no problem. Now for the DeWalt. Oh, come on. Come on. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Oh, I have the camera too close, but this thing is like wrenching around in my hand. It's actually, 
Uh, real surprising. I'll include this footage when I review the drill. What I'm learning is that even though speed boards need a lot of power to drive, they need less power than the equivalent ship auger. So what we discovered is a few things that uh, the Irwin speed bores as compared to a lot of the, even though they don't track as straight, uh, when they're nice and sharp, they actually need less power than all the friction and then the blunt chisel tips on these augers. Augers need a lot of power to drive. So the reason that the Hercules, and we can already see that there's wood chips building up, and as I turn it in the light, you will see that that is not a, see how the light angled, this should be a flat surface, and this should be reflecting just like this, where it's just one continuous tone. But instead, uh, it's arced. And so when we get to the tip, this is cutting, or excuse me, this grind has the tip. You can just see where it's rolling back. And so it's basically acting like a shovel, even though the edge is sharp, for whatever reason, when they were grinding this, it just didn't go straight across. It kind of like was a hand grind almost. And so they ended up making the surface uh, convex. It's actually bulging out. And this end is curving back relative to this surface. And it's on both sides. You can just see the way that light reflects right there off the edge as it's rolling back. And that is just making it super hard to drive this bit. And it did not seem to excavate the uh, the chips anywhere near as good. Now, the surprising enough, even though that edge should be a lot better, it was almost as bad as the regular old DeWalt chisel tip. And uh, we'll take a look here. Here's the th four holes at 1300 RPM. Here's the four holes at 1200, or excuse me, 450 RPM. And when the bit, the cutting edge, ends up ripping or going along the grain, it really gets a nice finish, but when it's uh, cross-cutting or going across the grain, right on each side of the hole, that's where the actual geometry and sharpness really show up. And we can see that the Irwin is actually leaving a pretty decent finish. The DeWalt was dragging a lot of the wood fibers, as we would expect for a chisel tip uh, nail-eating wood auger, but it did okay. The Bauer is better than the DeWalt, but actually not as good as the Irwin speed bore. Although the Bauer really isn't that bad. But when we get to the Hercules, it's just totally ripped up inside those bores, regardless of whether we're running them fast or slow. We can just see, look, it just it was so hard. It was just kind of just chiseling. It was just dragging the wood chips around. No wonder it was so hard to drive. And we'll flip it over here. Here's what the backside, the Hercules really just, just was, you can see that it was just blasting through there. There's our Bauer. Once it got into the bore, it actually wasn't cutting so bad. Of course, our DeWalt nail eater isn't pretty, but it's acceptable. And then speed bore wins on finish. Really surprised about that. So the Hercules are just a straight up do not buy until they get that the grinds proper on there. Because who wants to buy a bit uh, that <laughs> you have to resharpen out of the box? And I also was going to say... That the uh, coating does appear to be relatively heavy duty, but it doesn't seem to actually be quite as thick as the Bauer, particularly right here where we can see the bout where it was starting to peel up. Uh, the Bauer has a real thick coating on it, so uh, I think the Hercules, even though they may be fast, are just going to be really hard on your tools. And uh, this was a you know a M12 second gen fuel brushless. This drill has a huge amount of power holding it with both hands and it will basically torque it out of your hands. It's really surprising and to need that kind of power and torque to drive one of these bits just <laughs> no thank you. This has been the hardest bit wood auger bit I've ever used. Anyway I'll quit lamenting about it. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do. And until next time Caddis Maximus out.